I've been having a blast with the NetView BirdPie Smart Bird Feeder for the last six months. And now the new larger perch with accessory kit and a dedicated hummingbird feeder option is going to make bird watching even more fun. Stay tuned for the details. Well, today we're talking about another fun product from uh, NetView BirdFi. This is the NetView BirdFi uh, Smart Bird Feeder that I've been using for about five months now. It's really been a lot of fun, really worked great. Really impressed with the uh, fit and finish and just the engineering behind it and the way everything works together. And I haven't had a problem with it in five months out in the Florida weather. I did take it down, of course, during Hurricane uh, Ian. You didn't want to leave it up during the hurricane, but I put it right back up and uh, it's been working great. It holds up to the Florida sun and the weather. What we're going to talk about today, though, is a fun little uh, BirdFi Pro Perch set that you can buy as an add-on to the uh, BirdFi uh, feeder. And it's got a number of accessories on it, so we'll uh, take a look at that today and then we'll put it out there and let the birds have some fun with it and uh, show you the results. Just take the purse that comes with the bird fly off. So what we have here today is this uh, fun pack box of accessories for the bird fly feeder. And it's got a, uh, a suet ball holder or, or whatever else you might want to put in it. And it's got a uh, small hummingbird feeder. It's got a cute little uh, sign that you can uh, put on there and customize uh, with whatever you want to do. Uh, <laughs> one thing I like about it is this, welcome to um, whoever's backyard. So being uh, my backyard birding, you can't ask for a better sign to put on your bird feeder than that. And again, this is all about enjoying birds and having fun. And of course, a lot of people like to share the uh, pictures that they get of the birds and the visitors to their uh, NetView BirdFi uh, on social media, and it's just kind of a fun way to do it. It's got a couple of tubs here. And one thing you know about NetView is everything is well packaged and really fits, fits well. These are two little reservoirs that could be used for jelly or uh, peanut butter, any kind of or, uh, or bark butter or something like that that might not uh, stay in the traditional suet feeder. The main part of it, of course, is the extra large accessory perch. So let's set this box aside. And what we're going to do is take the new larger perch. So this just replaces the uh, existing perch. And really this bigger perch is going to be uh, probably a lot more fun than the smaller one anyway because it allows uh, you know, you get a little more, you know, it's a wide angle lens, so the, if the bird gets like really, really close to the lens, it gets a little blurry, but if it gets out in this range here, it's really a nice focus. Okay, so we got this here, and we've got uh, a place to put one of the uh, containers here, and another one here. Now, these look like they'd be pretty easy to clean. Uh, and then it comes with a little mini hummingbird feeder. I'm going to show you another kit that they have that's a large hummingbird feeder that basically converts the whole bird five feeder into an exclusive hummingbird feeder. But this is a nice little one port uh, feeder and it has a uh, ant hornet barrier so that the uh, bugs can't get in here and spoil it. Now generally speaking, you know, hummingbirds aren't too enamored of uh, sharing a feeder with other seeding <laughs> types of birds. But this has a nice option here where you can put the hummingbird, uh, little hummingbird port off to the side, either side actually. And then you've got uh, a little fork that you can put, yeah, I'd probably put it over here, a little farther away from the hummingbird setup. Something like that, you can stick a half of an orange or a piece of banana or any kind of fruit that you want to experiment with there. I've had actually interesting luck with using uh, bananas for uh, a lot of the birds will uh, poke at it. And then you got a uh, suet holder, which you can put over here off to the side. There's a lot of birds that like suet, particularly, of course, woodpeckers. Cat birds and robins and jays will uh, go after suet. And then you've got your little sign here if you want to put a sign with a a label on it, <laughs> put it out here just for fun. I probably 
we'll leave that off while I'm testing it. Although, yeah, yeah, yeah I might have a little fun with it. You know, it's, it's all about enjoying your birds and having some fun. You can move them around as need be. So it's a, a fun set of accessories and you can, I'll play around with it and I'll put it out there and, uh, and see what happens. Of course, whenever I test something out, I always like to use a lot of examples. But one of the foods that I've kind of stumbled on this winter to enjoy the uh, warblers and the catbirds in particular with is leftover uh, scrambled eggs or eggs. You know, just on, on luck, I put out some scrambled egg pieces for the crows and uh, before the crows could get there, the yellow-throated warbler and the yellow rump warbler were all over it and then the catbird ended up uh, becoming addicted to it. A number of birds that are addicted to uh, <laughs> scrambled eggs. So this might be a good area to put some scrambled eggs in here. But just have some fun with it. That's what it's all about, is enjoying birds and having fun. So I'll get this out in the backyard and uh, we'll show you some examples. Yeah, the feeding accessories are really well made and easy to clean and uh, wash up. And it's really hot right now in Florida. It's not really a suet season. It's not really hummingbird season. So you can repurpose these, uh, you know, these containers any way you want. So if I'm going to use uh, the bottom half of the suet feeder and the bottom half of the nectar feeder to use them as cup holders for uh, food offerings for the birds and then use the two uh, little uh, tubs for a, a variety of different uh, feeds so you can really mix and match and experiment and have some fun with your feeder. The extra large perch and the accessories make for much more room for birds to feed together and offer endless ways to customize feeding and design. You can experiment depending on the birds in season and what kind of birds you want to attract. Here up to six painted bunnings are feeding at once along with a cardinal. They can all be more relaxed and spend more time at the feeder. What I really enjoy about the BirdFi Smart Feeder is the insight it provides into birds' lives through constant surveillance. Here Mother Cardinal was sitting on her eggs in the nest during a big storm and got soaked to the bone, protecting her eggs at all cost, as she rode out the storm. Now she needs some quality food to make her life easier. So what we're going to talk about today is converting the uh, smart bird feeder into a smart hummingbird feeder. And basically this is a kit that you can use, uh, in my opinion, to convert it at least temporarily to a dedicated hummingbird feeder. And uh, we'll go ahead and install this and show you how it works. You know, like all the Netview products I've worked with so far, it comes really well packaged and uh, really well made with a lot of attention to detail. This is the Hummingbird kit right here. I'll set that aside. And what's nice about it is it's substantial and uh, well made. Pop it off here. And it's got a couple of perches in there. And it also has ant guards on each of the ports. Basically it's in a traditional hummingbird feeder style with yellow petals and little holes in them. And they've added the ant guards on all of the uh, ports here. You know, soft uh, rubber ant guards that look like, and they included a couple of extra ant guards. And what that means, it, uh, well, it's not only ant guard, but in, especially up in the mountains of North Carolina, I have a big problem with yellow jackets uh, getting into the hummingbird feeder. So what this is, is when the, the hummingbirds stick their long beak in there, it goes right through there and they can get the nectar, but uh, ants and especially larger uh, pests like uh, yellow jackets and hornets can't get in there and get at your nectar and uh, not only spoil the nectar, but also ruin the fun of the hummingbirds. So you can see it's, uh, it's fairly large, it'll hold a lot of uh, nectar. If you want to use clear nectar, not red nectar. You just want to use like regular quality sugar. I mean, it's about as cheap as you can do it. And you just do a four to one ratio, just mix pure sugar with uh, good uh, clean water and uh, the hummingbirds love it. So uh, let's, let's install this. What you do is you take the small purse that comes with the bird five feeder off. And you just set that aside. And then it just snaps right in. And then you have uh, little perches for your hummingbirds to stand on while they sip the nectar. And those go in these little slots here. Like that. 
one there, one there. And again, you've got a couple of extra ant and uh, bug protectors if you need them. So there you go, you're really a nice, neat system. And I recommend that you don't put bird seed in here when you use this for hummingbirds because that's going to make a mess. You know, you don't want hummingbirds generally don't like to share a bird uh, feeder with other birds. Uh, so you, what you want to do is if you're going to put the full hummingbird kit on here, uh, you know, for a seasonal, you know, in, in certain times of the year where I'm at, uh, I know that the hummingbirds are going to be around a lot. And so you just convert uh, this one to a full time uh, hummingbird feeder. And you don't want other birds coming in here trying to eat seeds and things like that. That's my recommendation anyway. Uh, what you'll find is if you put a mixture of other seeds in here and get other birds in there, you'll intimidate the uh, hummingbirds uh, from hanging around. So it looks really slick, so uh, we'll be testing this out. And uh, of course, anytime I do a review of a product, I always show a lot of examples. So you've seen how simple it is to install, how well built it is, and what a neat uh, integration it is to the existing BirdFi uh, smart feeder. I can't wait for hummingbird season to try out this new Hummer feeder adapter. I'll follow up with some videos of it in action later.